So I've been trying to get into this uh, Grey Tool listing site. I'm actually in Idle, Westfield Lane. And just across there is the Quaker burial ground. And it's been shut for a few years since the COVID episode. And due to vandalism, so just by chance, I got tip off to say that the gates are open. So I'm going to take you guys inside and have a look. And as you can see, right at the top it says 1690. And uh, the gates are open. And the first thing I've noticed, it's very low, the archway, so you've got to mind your head. Wow. Quirky, indeed. It's not very big, quite barren. And how often do you see a scenic, picturesque view of the valley from a burial ground. So let's have a walk around. Now I don't know much about this site, it's quite mysterious as you drive by on Westfield Lane. But uh, this gives you an idea. And this looks like the original seating arrangement. Goes all the way across. This historic site is a burial ground of the Religious Society of Friends or Quakers. The Religious Society of Friends emerged from the religious and political turmoil of the 17th century. Quakers believed that a simple way of life reflected the teachings of Jesus. They rejected the authority of the church and were persecuted. Many were imprisoned and their families' possessions were confiscated they were denied a burial in consecrated grounds. Instead, they created burial grounds on a private site like this one. In 1690, Joshua Barlett, a Bradford Quaker, gave this site as a burial ground for Quakers for a period of 5,000 years. It is not known how many people are buried here, but records show that 11 Quakers were buried here between 1709 and 1771. The last burial that was of James Rhodes that took place around about 1917. And probably this is the only stone we could read. And that is of James Rhodes. Don't know if you can make that out. So yeah, it's a bit of a mystery. I don't have the finer details, but it uh, makes you wonder how many people are buried here. Yeah, I'm trying to fight the sunlight here, trying to avoid my own shadows, but here's another stone I've just spotted. Pretty difficult to read. So I can't really say what's written on it. So that was a quick video on the Idle Quakers burial ground. Hope you enjoyed it. Shall see you on the next one.